In these examples, we're going to be multiplying or dividing signed numbers. When we do so, it's helpful to remember the rules for combining signs. Negative times a negative would be a positive. Positive times a positive is a positive. So if the signs are the same in multiplication or division, the result is positive. If the signs are different in multiplication or division, the sign is negative. So let's see how that's going to work. In the first one, negative 8 times 1, or a positive 1, would give a result of negative 8. In the second one, negative 8 times negative 1, negative times a negative is a positive. Negative 2 times negative 3, negative times a negative is a positive, so the result is a positive 6. And often when we have positive numbers as a result, we don't actually put the positive sign in front of the number unless we have a context where we need a sign to give um, added meaning. In part D, we're going to have to be careful because I have a negative 0 0.4 squared, which means I have negative 0 0.4 times negative 0 0.4. The result then is going to be a positive and 0.4 times 0.4 is 0.16. In E, I have negative 1 third squared, which means I need to multiply negative 1 third times negative 1 third. The result is going to be positive. I have a negative times a negative so I would multiply 1 times 1 and divide that by 3 times 3 and I get 1 over 9 and since we didn't have any instruction about leaving fractions as decimals to a certain place value I'm just going to leave this as 1 ninth. In part F I have the product of three numbers I can only multiply two things at a time so I'm going to start with the first two 0 times any number is 0 so that leaves me with 0 times 2, and 0 times 2 is 0. Part G, again I have three numbers, so let's start with the first two. Negative 4 times 3 is negative 12, and that result is going to be multiplied times negative 1. A negative times a negative is a positive, so my result is going to be a positive 12. Part h, I have 8 divided by negative 4. I'm going to rewrite that as a fraction. 8 divided by negative 4, my result is going to be negative. 8 divided by 4 is 2, so my final result is negative 2. In the last part, negative 3 divided by negative 1 eighth, I've got negative 3, then I take the reciprocal of negative 1 8 which is negative 8 and the result of negative 3 times negative 8 I have a negative times a negative that's going to give me a positive 24.